Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever this video finds you, I hope you're having a rad time. I'm The Figure Dude, and on today's Work in Progress Wednesday, we're going to be making both Seth Rollins and Edge from SummerSlam 2021. Without further ado, let's talk about some figures. Dude. <laughs> Welcome back. Like I said, today I'm going to be making Seth Rollins and Edge from when they fought at SummerSlam. And I believe it was 2021. Um, I went back and watched the beginning of the match, kind of make sure I had the parts I needed and everything. And um, it was still relatively fresh when in Edge's return to WWE. So still had the long hair. He actually came out to the brood gimmick. So the attire he had that day was red and black. And, you know, I, I don't... I haven't hated what he's done in AEW. It's been fine to me up to this point, at least as far as like when I'm recording this, like not much has happened. He had his match with Christian, um, with Nick Wayne's mom turning heel, I guess. Um, but going back and then watching this brood entrance and like how hyped the crowd was, just like the energy to it, like, man, man, that's, that's all I can say. <laughs> um, with Seth Rollins here, this attire is not much different. So I've wanted to do this and the custom itself isn't, it's really just taking off the design that's on the tights and doing a different one. So he wore this outfit and I think it was maybe Crown Jewel. He had a match with Edge as well and he had the white boots. He had the like extra knee pad in front and the, his tights were even black, but, um, Obviously, the entire we got is like this silverish color. And what I remembered was the decals that I have here. So once I like went back and looked, I was like, oh, I guess I guess so. He wore a couple different iterations of it, but it was more like a gold, like kind of lace look, I guess. So I want to do that because um, that's kind of what I wanted. I don't I don't love this. I love the coat that he came with. It looks fantastic, but he had more like a, a pirate kind of look for the, um, SummerSlam. So I'm gonna get rid of this, gonna get this design off, gonna do all the gold, which we don't even have to do everything because we've already got the gold boots, the knee pad and all that. Um, gonna have to paint this all white. He had like a wet, long white sleeve wrap, whatever on. And then he is gonna have, um, I'll find a hand that just has the white tape on it already. Um, but then for Edge, so this is, in, oh, sorry, the, the head is from the Ultimate Edition. I really like that long hair. And then the Edge here is a head I fixed up with the um, Ultimate Edition as well. So this had the, like, molded hair on it from, like, the the spear hair, I guess you could call it. Um, so I took that off, put on the normal hair so I could use this head sculpt um, on the figure without it looking like he needs to spear somebody. I need to get some red elbow pads, find those in the fodder bin. He's going to have some red open knee pads as well. And then the boots, we're going to have to paint all red. So outside of that, got to do the decals on the side. So um, these two customs aren't like crazy work to do by themselves. So I, did, I figured I would do them together. So let's not waste any more time. Here we go. All right, first thing here, um, I've already acetoned off the design on the thighs, but the crotch piece is a harder plastic. So I'm just gonna paint black over that for the Rollins. Um, with Edge here, I cracked the torso. I already spray painted these boots red, so it's just a matter of getting the decals on. Um, I just use, I don't know, it's a red spray paint, but I just sprayed those separately, sealed them, and that's gonna give me the cleanest look here. Um, the decals are the ghost white decals, so um, no matter what red I use, it's gonna, it's all gonna be consistent. Um, with the edge legs here, I did all the acetoning off screen. It's, there's not much to it, just using Q-tips for everything. Um, and then I've got these red elbow pads, gonna paint those black. Just really, it's it was a, a simple process, just a lot of steps to it. There, um, I'm filling in the bottom of the kick pads black so that black extends all the way down. The decals are cut rectangularly, so um, it looked a little off, but I filled it in there. 
um, with Rollins here. So like I said, I painted it all black. I put a layer of black over the thighs just so that it looked consistent. Um, now I'm gonna do the white on the wrist tape to um, give him that like long, uh, that long tape look that he had for that pay-per-view. And here are the decals. Um, really just I don't know two pretty simple customs just kind of got to make sure I get everything where it needs to be so they're nice and clean all right time to wrap things up here and I am very very happy with these I think they look fantastic together and I might start doing more like um more matches where I just start doing the attires from both guys in a match I don't know I guess we'll kind of have to see if there's some some stuff I'd like to do but get them both on screen here at the same time We've got our Brood Edge and our, i just say Pirate Rollins is what I always kind of think of. Um, I do have, so just that edge to the back here. You can see up close. I, I think this gold just looks way better. I really like how it pops. I think it just, I don't know, I, like I think it matches better. I think it looks better. Obviously this is what it was before. Got just an extra loose side. I think I'm going to turn this into like that red and gray attire on the back here. You can see more of the gold. I just think the gold looks way better. And um, I like, I didn't even know he'd worn this. This is, this is the attire I thought of. So I think I'm really, really happy with that Rollins. Once I sprayed it with the sealer, it really made that gold pop um, kind of, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Science, science. With Edge here, I think this looks awesome. I really like the red and black. This head sculpt, I think, is great. I did have to put a taller neck peg in because um, it kind of sits short. But then we've got, obviously, we've got the um, elbow pad logo on there. Oh, man. Scuffed my elbow pad. There's the red logo on the side. Just really, really happy with it. I'm, I'll find some red sunglasses to give him so he's got that full, like, brood entrance um, kind of look. But I'm going to throw some more pictures on Instagram here before we, or whenever I get a chance. But that is going to wrap everything up for Work in Progress Wednesday today. So if you guys can think of some cool matches where I could do both the tires, um, throw it in the comments. I'd love to do some more like this. Um, if you like what we're doing here, go check out some more Work in Progress Wednesdays. We have a pretty extensive list of customs that we've done on the channel here. So if you have suggestions on customs, just by themselves, just a single solitary custom by itself, let me know. Um, we're going to continue, like, I don't know, we're just going to keep it going. I've got a lot of customs on the shelf that I've been working on, stuff that I've, are just, you know, got to edit and get up on the channel. But, um, outside of that, please continue to like, share, subscribe. I always appreciate it. And remember, you can't buy happiness, but you can buy more action figures. Take your dude out.